Good morning, lovely. This is Yasmin from our micro homestead. Sorry for both the angle and the quality of this clip. It is raining heavily and without any natural light, my phone does not pick up the footage very well. How is everybody? It has been so stormy, hasn't it? We have had non stop rain. Everything's been flooded. Oh, poor chickens. I can't even get into their room at the moment. Just having to chuck loads of straw in there and hopefully it's good enough for now. Uh, has anyone been to any fireworks displays yet? We went to a lovely one at our local, um, not our local, but the village is over. Football club, it's just donations. It was a wonderful show. We got some food. It was a nice little treat out for the children after such a wet, miserable week that followed on from us being so very ill. Um, after our little trip away, we just all ended up with a very bad flu that led into a stomach bug, which led into another cold. <laughs> it's just non-stop around here. But good news, we, um, sorry, that was a really bad transition into that. But good news, yesterday we had our log burner installed, which is fantastic. Um, we will be testing that out with a smoke bomb later tonight, and then hopefully we shall be able to get it lit see how well it does. It was a bit of a kerfuffle because of we've used a flexi flu system but what we weren't aware of is the fact that the chimney anyway well we were aware that the chimney was originally for an old Cornish range um, that got condemned and taken out when my grandmother moved in here but the chimney is actually a clay lined flu anyway so it was a tight squeeze but they got it done in the end house is a complete freaking disaster half a forest came out that chimney when they were clearing it so i've got a lot of cleaning a lot of scrubbing to do i'll let you see what it looks like for now still need some work uh hopefully going to put in a little faux um not a fireplace but a little shelf above a little decorative one with some candles and stuff so I will show you that later and see. Look at the absolute mess that was created. We really did have nearly half a forest come down, but I'm loving it. Can't wait to get the walls painted. The children have been enjoying their evenings in front of it, so they can't be happy really. Please, please, please do not judge me for my fire building skills currently. I am learning every day. It's a new skill. I haven't used a log burner in a very long time since I was young. So <laughs> it's not perfect, but we're getting there. We're building bigger and better fires every day, putting our washing in front of it now, um, water on top. We've got two big kettles, and soon I'll be learning how to make some soup and stews on top. I'm really excited <coughs> for. So now you can see it. it's just the kindling burning away, and it may be boring to some, but to me it's very exciting. It's definitely helping heat our room. Um, we now have a fan to go on top and it, it's definitely pushing the heat around. It's not making everything warm, but it's taking that edge off, so it's fantastic. Plus there's nothing more cosy than a fire in the evening, am I right? Um, I just thought I'd show you what we grabbed from a different community larder today. We had to go into our local town to pop there. It wasn't a huge amount, but we're grateful for everything. We've got these pack of rolls and three pack of pretzels. Um, in this bag, girls, sh girls, sh for a second, we got a croissant and let's get those out. Two muffins. Also got a lovely loaf of bread. Look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? Let's get that, and I think I'll put that one in the freezer. Out, oh, and then down at my feet in this very messy footwell, I've got a pumpkin, um, some apples. Let's see if I can move this. It's very wet. One second. Oh, oh, and we got two. 
sweetheart cabbages in there. So the apples we'll probably make an apple apple pie with, and the cabbages I'll either do some pickles or they can just go for food this week. So yep, that's what we got from our community larder. Hey lovelies, for anyone that's interested, I use a lot of recycle jars whenever I do bottling, canning, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not sure that most of you know. Um, I don't do this and waste the food, by the way, but it's actually cheaper. I think they're up at 89p. That's like nearly 20 people more than what they were. Um, to buy a jar, these are nearly 700 ml jars, 670. It's cheaper to buy these than it is to buy new jars. I can't seem to get these two open. One second, sweetheart. But I'm gonna I've emptied and drained the contents of three jars so far and I've got these. I'm gonna make use these to make a non-traditional um borscht soup. We're gonna do it hot, it is gonna be with pickle beets, but it means that I'm gonna have five decent sized jars then to uh, do some canning with. These will be put down back. I do wanna get some stuff done before I don't know i just want to get some stuff done really um i've got some apples and i've got some pumpkins so i might make some soup or some more pie filling i don't know but yeah if you can if you eat this or you know someone that eats these use the jars like they're a great size obviously i'm going to need someone to help me open these ones though because i cannot for the life get them open <laughs> anyway yeah Good evening everybody, it's now about half past six. I've got the fire on, I've got the oven on heating up for mine and the old kids dinner. Um, I'm making a fish pie of sorts out of leftover fish and chips from last week. We got treated to it for my kids for granddad. So it's leftover fish, some leftover chips in a white sauce with parsley, salt and pepper and lots of peas. And I'm doing some potatoes now just to mash and put on the top. And that's going to go in the oven. If you need to use up leftover fish and chips, make a pie. It seems to work. It tastes good. Um, I've just been out into the lean-to and come back into the house. And the difference the log burner has made is, it, it's immense. It's not hot in here. It's nice and warm in front of it. But it's taken the chill off the air. And that's what I'm really looking for. I don't have any intentions of making the house hot. Um, I don't like hot houses and I think that's where a lot of wasted energy goes to instead of just trying to make the house neutral neutral or slightly warm um, and take that cold out of the air you're constantly trying to heat it up hot and hotter throughout winter and I understand that a lot of people need that and they need the warmth for their bones and for anybody of relative good health and that is struggling currently in this climate um, Maybe we should just come together in the fact that we should be just trying to make it okay. Not so much boiling hot, but comfortable. Um, <laughs> it's a very odd thing to say, I know. But we were those people that used to have it up high and wake up in the middle of the night sweating. So, yeah. I think, I think we can starve off putting on the heating if we ever find the thermostat until probably closer to you'll um, have that on for a month or so keep the log burner going for hot water but we definitely won't need it up as high this year and yeah so I'm gonna drink the coffee I'll show you the pie when it comes out it's a weird concoction but hopefully it's good and um yeah enjoy your evening <laughs> 